Hey guys, here is my Hunter Perlman ceiling fan. I think I filmed this already before, a couple times before, but I figured I would give it its own video just because it's cool enough to get to uh, earn one. Uh, I bought this fan brand new. I got it on clearance at Lowe's. It was right place, right time sort of thing. So let's start it up on low. I really like this fan. I love how it looks and I love the fact that it's six blades. Because you don't see too many six bladed fans that often. Not that they don't have them because you can get a six bladed fan or one with more, but usually you have to shell out some decent money for a fan like that nowadays. I think that's one retailed only at like 110 bucks. So, and the sale I got was ba they basically clearance it at like over 50% off. So, it was a pretty decent deal, if you ask me. I think this fan was uh, damp rated or wet rated. I can't remember. I think damp rated, it has to be on like a covered porch or something like that. Wet rated, it can be exposed to the elements. Don't take my word on it. <laughs> I'm getting a pretty decent breeze on low. I can feel the air moving around my feet. Medium. Apologize for the angle. I don't have a great shot for this fan. I have a pair of motorcycles in my way. <laughs> so you can kind of see the ugly uh, garage door thing there. On the bottom it says, since 1886, Hunter. Just like the uh, Cassius, which is the three blade version of this fan. The only difference in that is the blade shape, of course. And we'll cut to high. Obviously, it runs silently. It's a new fan. It's not going to have those kind of issues, or at least it shouldn't. I mean, for spreading the breeze, it's pretty good. It could be better, but it's pretty good for a modern fan, especially a cheap one. Underneath it is actually a pretty decent breeze. Not overwhelmingly powerful, but not weak. Overall, it's a pretty good fan. Supposedly, you can get a light for it, but I haven't seen any with lights. And your spin down. It's going to be pretty long on this fan. Now, I do believe you can get this in different finishes. I think they had a, I think they have a white finish for this fan, too. I know this, this is obviously the black finish. I like the black one much better. I want to say there's a third one, but I can't remember. I can't remember. I think the blades are reversible. Yeah, they're reversible to that wood grain finish. I just wanted to be black on black. It has a really nice look to it. I've seen a few of these already. They seem to be pretty popular. I was out and about in a small little town, and there was a bar in the town, and they had a little uh, outdoor-like covered porch area, and they had two of these hanging in it. It's funny. When I see these, they only seem to be bought in pairs, cause, and they're only on, like, covered porches. <laughs> And they're always in the black finish, too. I've only seen them in black. I've seen the white ones online, but not in person. I also see people usually install them on longer down rods. This is the standard down rod it came with. Like I said, it has a really good spin down. <laughs> it's not particularly heavy, so I'm not sure how... I guess it just has good bearings.
Yeah, like I said, this thing has a long spin down. There we go. And zero to high. Oh, and the pull chain is engraved with Hunter and then the fan symbol. Just in case you can't tell the fan from the light. <laughs> On this fan, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, and there you have it. The Hunter Perlman ceiling fan. Thank you for watching.